Welcome to Toffee TV. I'm joined by Bridget, who's one of our patrons. She's an overseas Evertonian. She's literally come over the sea to be here. This is the only point of your trip, really. Wasn't Absolutely. It? I did nothing else nothing the else. entire month, just straight to just Toffee TV. Straight. In fact, I was camping outside until you finally let me in. Well, we had to wait for your isolation period to finish yeah, before you right. could come in, obviously. Yeah. It's lovely to have you on. Thank you. Um, we're just going to have a chat about your Everton story, really. And All right. Because you are sat there with Everton top on. I am. You were telling me before you're looking forward to the Florida Cup. I know. In fact, so, I had to make sure I get back to the States in time to go to Orlando to go watch the team. Pretty excited. Sorry, Baz, you won't be there. No, devastated. Absolutely. And the other thing is you, you're going to do something that you and the fellow people who were at those games are going to do something none of us have been able to do, which is see Hammers Rod. Well, provide me don't sell them, but, you know, see Hammers. Well, yeah. See Hammers Rod. Disclaimer, disclaimer, yeah, disclaimer. Exactly. Yeah, no, we're, we're an pretty Everton excited. Kit. And... Yeah. Rafa the Gaffer. And Rafa the Gaffer. We'll come on to Rafa in a bit. We'll, <laughs> we'll have a chat about Rafa in a bit. But how right. out, out did this all start then? Because so, you, you weren't born in America, so... No, I was actually born in France, which is just a bit weird. Okay. But I was. My dad, <laughs> I mean, my, you know, I mean, I'm sure lots of people are born yeah. in France. But anyway, yeah. um, my parents divorced and I came home with my mother to the Wirral, a little village called Puddington. And lived there with my grandmother, and my mother. So I have two brothers, and they were brought up in France. And so they were foreigners, so they picked mm -hmm. winning teams to support, you know, because that's what for. I'm sorry. They, no. Anyway, they <laughs> were. Did they, they go for? Well, it was funny, actually, because my oldest brother picked Leeds. Okay. My right. younger brother picked Man United. Okay. That's okay. That's all right. And then they changed to Liverpool. Uh, no, that isn't okay. That's not okay. So I remember, and I don't know, I wish I knew how old I was, but I was pretty young. My brothers would come over every year and it was kind of like the, the honeymoon period when they first came over. Mm -hmm. And then we just fought like cats and dogs, you know, the rest of the time. <laughs> and so we always had this sort of yin-yang relationship. And, and I, was, I was being brought up by my mother and my grandmother. Football wasn't in my life. Yeah. And, but I remember distinctly sitting in the kitchen, my mom and my grandma talking, and uh, nine, Niney, my grandmother, said to my mother, I, I don't know about organizing these trips for the boys to Anfield. And my mom's like, well, well, why? And she said, well, Herbert would roll over in his grave. Well, I'm there, little ears perk up, Herbert being my grandfather. Yeah. So I'm like, why would grandpa not like that? We're Everton in our family right then. So not only did I have something to fight with my brothers about, <laughs> but I had the family team. And mm. so from that on, you know, point on, I was an Evertonian. I don't know that I really knew what that meant, you know. Yeah. Um, and there's no way they were letting me come to a match. So I never got to see us. So you'd catch it on the news. You'd read it in the papers. Got a little bit older, got a little bit more into it. Still couldn't get to a game. And then uh, started dating, got a boyfriend, Liverpool fan. I know. I know. Well, I didn't know better. He was good no. looking, you know, anyway. Okay, fair enough. So he took me, bought me tickets to go to the FA Cup final to watch us, watch the Watford. That was my first game. Wow. And it, it was funny. I was on with the Bobblers, on a podcast <laughs> with the Bobblers, and I had thought it was the, the friendly final. That was my first game. Mm. But then I found all my ticket stubs, and it wasn't. Oh, it was Watford. Watford. So we went, all my games were at Wembley. Like my first three or four games were all Wembley. So it was a pretty good start. Yeah. Um, then I came to university here in the city. Started going, get, didn't tell my mom. No. Sorry, mom. Uh, um, yeah. Started going to games. And then I, I got smart and I got an Everton boyfriend. Well done. So I had someone to take me. Yeah. So got the season tickets, went to all the home, home games, some away. Mostly, though, we'd go to the, watch the reserves. Mm. You know how they used to Pretty have like the second team yeah, play? Yeah, yeah. So like the Anfield, we'd go, go watch go the watch reserve the, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then, you know, this, so put it in mind, this is uh, 1985 onwards. Best. I know. The best times. So, uh, yeah, and, and we went to some away games. So, I mean, I was there, you know, the first league, I was there through the Lineker year and, uh, and the following year. And I think people talk about all the, the games they remember. And I'm not good at that. And I think mm. it's because I'm short. I don't know how many I actually saw. I mean, I was in the Gladys <laughs> Street. And, and so Cliff, my boyfriend, yeah. who I'm actually going to be seeing later today, we've stayed in touch. Okay. His wife knows. Yeah, Hi, Tracy. That's all right. Um, and uh, oh, and my husband. I was going to say because yeah. your husband knows. <laughs> my husband as well. knows as well. No, we've we've stayed in touch, mm. and um, which is great. But he and our, fr our friend John, they were like my bodyguards. 
Right. And they would literally hold on to me. Yeah. So, because, you know, that was in the terrace days, yeah, right? Yeah. So when the crowd would surge, I would have bruises on my back from them grabbing a hold of me because otherwise yeah. I'd land up at the front. <laughs> but uh, the best the best game, the game I remember best was when we won the league at Norwich. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so we drove down. It was, what, seven hours? Yeah. It took forever. Miles. Scarves out of the windows. A great trip down. Even better trip back. Mm. But the funniest part of that whole story was my car had just been stolen. I had a Ford Escort. And that was when if you had a Ford Escort in Liverpool, you might not have had it the next week. So it okay. left. Mm. Left the family. So my mom lent me her brand new Peugeot 205. And the rule was, you've got the car as long as you don't leave the city. Nice, yeah. So I drove to Norwich. <laughs> Which is a little bit outside the city, just, yeah. Yeah, just a to, bit, yeah, to go watch us win the league, because that was important. Yeah, um, well, it was, to be fair. But we got a speeding ticket, so uh, my mum did find out. So anyway, but mm. we won the league. Well, we won the league. And she was happy that we won the league, well, so it was a good story. But yeah, yeah so I left in 1989, so clearly it's all my fault. I was going to say, so... Potentially, you're it's the reason why we've been a bit rubbish since. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> yeah. So maybe now I've been back for a month and um, it's all going to change gonna, now. You're going to. So, um, so how did, obviously, you've got some great memories because we okay. were fantastic during those years. <laughs> it was weren't wonderful. We? So where did you go from here then? So I went to the States to go be a nanny because I just wanted to travel. So yeah. I went to Washington, D.C. And, um, you know, that was pre-cell phone, pre-internet. I mean, I'm a teacher now and I mm. tell the kids all the time, you know, we, we didn't know what was happening and they're all like, yeah, can't, that, believe. That, can't believe it. Yeah. So uh, my mom would send me newspaper copies and actually we found some old photos. I've, I've been with my mother, she's getting on a little and we're helping clear the house and things. And we found a photo of my Everton shirt hanging on the wall in my little apartment in Washington, DC. <sighs> Still don't know where that shirt went. Um, anyway, so did my best, but it wasn't on TV. No, 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 no way. And um, they used to open the bars at like seven o'clock in the morning for the FA Cup final. And we yeah. would all line up in the back because it was an illegal feed. And we were very exciting. <laughs> um, and uh, in fact, the, the, the game, the Everton Liverpool game, there was, there was a, a, a famous time that I don't know who she was, this little English girl smashed a light in a bar and was never forgotten because I punched when we scored a goal. Oh, anyway, yeah. but yeah. you know, good times, <laughs> good times. But uh, I was in DC and that's where I met my now husband, Paul. And he was in the American army. Mm. So we traveled quite a lot. Oh, okay, yeah. And again, just sort of really lost touch with my Everton. I mean, it was like, yep, Everton fan. Didn't know what was going on, mm. except for the abuse my brothers would give me every now and again. Nice. But, you know, you ignore that. Nice, yeah. You ignore that. Yeah, you've got it. Um, and then about six years ago, I met the Atlanta Evertonians as we moved to Atlanta and uh, met the Atlanta Evertonians. And actually, it was a Liverpool fan who told me about them. So there seems to be but, some weird yeah, little yeah. connection yeah. there. Taxi driver, Peter, taxi driver, yeah, driving yeah. me to Manchester Airport. And he said, you know, there's a group of Atlanta Evertonians and he knew someone who knew someone. So as soon as I, I landed back there, I literally tweeted, got in church, got the, got the contact information. And uh, first game was the Derby game. And I hate to call it this, but the Pickford goal Derby. Ah. Yeah. But anyway, sad well, yeah, day, yeah. but great you know. event. Yeah, Had a yeah. few drinks. Yeah. And the story was they kept wondering who this loud person was, new person in the group. Mm -hmm. And they were like, they all said, they all said, she's probably something really nice, like a teacher or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was wonderful. And I, I'd found my people again. And I've been very faithful ever since and do what I can to help Steve run the group and grow mm. the group. And the Atlanta Everton and Tonians were quite a group. And now we've got the USA Toffees growing and, uh, and yeah. Tony Sampson's been leading that charge yeah. and it's really, uh, really grown. Yeah, yeah, we have to I've Tony on quite regularly and I, yeah. I do speak to Tony, he's done a, a fantastic job doing that. Obviously, a, um, a scouser, but has moved over to Chicago and Absolutely. he's got involved with that group there and it, it is brilliant. But what, so do you get... Do you go and watch the games oh, together? Yeah. yeah, is that what? Every single game. Is that what it is? Yep. Yeah. Sometimes at 7.30 in the morning. I going to say it's here. Yeah. yeah. Five we, hours, uh, it? I, we always laugh because, you know, it was always, um, it's changing. But there was always that feeling of you, you couldn't really be an Evertonian unless you lived here. Yeah. And yeah, now it's yeah, begun yeah. to change a bit, which is oh, nice. That, but, yeah. I mean, it's 45 minutes from my house to the pub. 
And so we'll go to those 7 a.m. games. Course, we'll go yeah. to those 8 a.m. New, New Year's Day, 7. Oh, we, we love those early starts oh, on New brilliant. Year's Day. Yeah. yeah. And uh, my husband has become an Evertonian. Excellent. And yes. And so he's uh, bought his new shirt today. So that Excellent. was good. So. But, you, you know, he's not quite as excited as I am on New Year's Day at 7.30. Probably you know, not, not no. But, but he takes one for the team. I mean, New Year's Day, i just say a very brief story. My lad was uh, got picked to be a mascot on New Year's oh. Day a couple of years ago. Fab. Three years ago, I think it was. We played Leicester. So our first New Year's Day, brilliant. Leicester City moved half 12 kickoff New Year's Day. And we get the thing, got to be a Goodison for our fate. Right. Brilliant. Take him to Goodison. He loves it. It's great, you know, goes and meets the players and you, you go around and get pitches when you can and all that. We get in, he, he's there, meets them all. There's a, a few of them, meets all the players and we're stood on the side, me and my missus. And it's weird. It's such a weird feeling. Yeah. yeah there when be. you're on the side and the ground's full of, because I'm normally in my seat, you know, so you're yeah. looking down and we walk through, we get walked through the Leicester fans and up. We were in the upper Bullens in the corner because Leicester only come to the bottom. My missus never been to a game, not interested in football at all, which is great because it means we had there's not two of us. Right. I'm a little fella moaning in the night. And we go, lo and behold, we get beat 1 0. Jamie Vardy scores the winner. And it was rubbish. The game was probably one of the worst games of football I've ever been to. So, needless to say, my missus has never, ever wanted to go. <laughs> she's back. like, I don't want to. The only other game. game she's been to actually was. Uh, Orlando City versus Atlanta oh, United when we go. were in Florida last time I took her and Orlando lost the game 1-0. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Joseph Martinez with the goal. But um Of course. Yeah, but those at New Year's Day. So it was bad enough for me getting up having had a couple of you know, having family round and we went to bed late, but to have to do that, you know, up at that time, yeah. a lot of times just and then drive forty five minutes to go to a pub, that is does take some commitment. It does. And there's a pretty big group and, and you yeah. The pub's great too, and uh, they opened up specially for us when the, when everything got closed down for COVID. Mm. They opened for us as a private event, oh, and so we would go in, and we all had to sit apart and wear our masks and all that. Yeah. I mean, for their sake, as much yeah. as anything. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's uh, we're, we're a pretty faithful crew, mm. and, yeah, it, and it's really fun. And <laughs> I know, and there's such a, mi a, a mix, and uh, we've got our, our expat Brits. And we've got our Americans, and it's a really distinct mix. Brilliant. And the negative ones are typically the British ones, yeah. and the positive ones are the American ones. Because <laughs> I always say I was cursed with being an optimistic blue. Mm. I mean, I'm just na naturally a very optimistic person. But that's good. I, I think so, too. That's and so good. Steve Landy, who is our, um, in case he watches this, mm. amazing chairman, oh, um, yeah. absolutely amazing, mm. he always says it's not natural. He's no. like, she's so, she's always saying, but well, it's, it's going to be okay. You know, I'm like, yes, they played crap, but did you see that pass? Because yeah. that pass showed promise, and next yeah. time he's going to... And, I mean, it wasn't that far off, and, you know, yeah. he was supposed to go here. I know it went out, but, you know, they just it was miscommunication. It's all right. So that's me. That's the teacher in you that's coming me. out, though. Maybe. Yeah. It's good to be optimistic. I don't know whether I'd be buying that at times when we're, we're getting beat 5-0 by <laughs> Yeah, Manchester. well, I can't say I was particularly that, optimistic No, no, that. no. I mean, there's reality to it. Yeah, of know, course. Yeah, but yeah. it's always good to be optimistic beforehand, because I think otherwise, what's Absolutely. the point? Is Steve American or is he an expat? Oh, he's an expat. Yeah, I was going to say, because that was from Witness. Yes, from Witness. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. So we took it over there and spread the word. Is yeah. it growing? Yeah, I mean, it really was, and then COVID. Obviously, COVID hit. hit so, it, um, yeah. but it is, and I mm. think it's going to keep growing. Excellent. There's much more outreach, and now yeah. the club's doing a lot more. And and I've been lucky. Tony's invited me to be part of those discussions and Fantastic. talking to the club and and people at the club and hearing their vision, um, and really talking with you know the the, the new guy from Florida and, mm. and and talking to Pulse Entertainment and their plans. It's it's pretty exciting. Mm. You know, and you hear chat about Everton haven't done enough over there. Well, maybe they haven't, but that's what it was. Yeah. You know, you can't keep honing in well, on what always, happened. There's always got to be a starting point, hasn't it? And they Absolutely. haven't, let's be honest. No, they We've haven't. missed huge opportunities, Tim Howard. But, but having Landon said Donovan, that, things like yes, that. they missed opportunities, but it's only in the last, having someone who's lived there, three to five years that it's taken off. Mm. I mm. I mean, I, you know, As having, where you are, people weren't interested. I was in going to say, but uh, because Atlanta United are, oh, are, God, yes. are quite a new franchise, really, yeah. Andy, they're what, four, 
four years old now, are they? Like three, four. three, fourth then, season. Yeah, last this year one, was the it? third. Yes. Yeah. yeah so yeah, this yeah. is the fourth season they're in now, and obviously they play at the, you know, huge right. stadium. And the first, the first 000. season was good for a, and then the second season we won everything. Yeah, they were outstanding. And sort of yeah. But then lost little, Joseph Martinez for the, Yeah, for once he year. got injured. But yeah. we still won, like, yeah, yeah. a cup, still you know. Good, yeah. Even so, under De Boer. Look, we could win something under, under De Boer. Under De Boer, yeah. That I says mean, that's, something. That's an achievement right there. Whether it's in spite of him or <laughs> because of him. <laughs> All right, let's a, not go there. No, that's a flip of a coin, isn't it? <laughs> but um, obviously that Almer on, didn't you? Play, yeah. Play, players yeah. like that. No, Miggy was... was uh, and you knew when you knew when you lost him. And he was so far above everything else on the field. I mean, it was... It was ridiculous. Well, when he had Almer on, and, and, and Joseph. Joseph Martinez, yeah, and, and, like and they were like a, some good young kids. It was kind well. of like a Baines Pina. It was like you didn't think they even had to look at each other. They just knew. They just they? knew, yeah. and um, and they were just so far ahead of everything else. I mean, you you would just see them decimate sides, mm. and and even you know I didn't know how many even with Brad Guzan in goal. I mean, uh, to yeah, be fair. Uh, yeah, yeah, and and you know, and then Miggy comes here, and I was interested to see how he would do with the rough and tumble of the of mm. the Premier League, and when he was allowed to play and he was let mm. loose, he's fast. He's a good player. He's a good, he's a player. good player. It, it is difficult because it's such a physical league, the Premier League, yeah. and the quality so But he can hold people off much more than that. he looks. Yeah, yeah. You know, nice he looks a bit foot. lightweight, but he's not. Yeah. But um, but is that so? That's and he can, that he can go down with the best of them. Oh, but, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. 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 So was that that's really kicked off that interest yeah. then? In, it's in a, made a in huge Atlanta, difference, and it? people are still picking their Premier League team. And just you know, the Everton way. If anyone makes a mistake of putting that on Twitter, that poor person probably needs to change their handle because they're going to have fifty thousand Evertonians on them, <laughs> telling them that they were actually chosen to be blue. They just didn't know it yet. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's so, the thing. Uh, I mean, John, John, something John Blaine always says is. Uh, there's Evertonians who don't know they're Evertonians yet, and I, I guess in those places, that's where. The club and and it was seeing kind of this, aren't we, getting with that, this Florida Cup outreach, now, which absolutely. is fantastic. I mean, it, it, I have you know does pain me to talk about the Florida Cup. Sorry, but um, yeah. but Did it's you know Everton are going to be playing in Orlando. Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still crying about it. Um, no, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I think yeah. it's the two my two favourite things merged. Well, and I will Orlando and Florida and, and Everton. So. I will tell you this: uh, the the vibe I've been getting as we've been part of the discussions and the planning mm. and is that this, it's not going to be the last time. No. So no, you'll... No. Yeah. 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 Well, we know yeah. we'll be there. We'll you'll be, be there. Or we'll... I'm sure. But we'll be the first. I'm sure me and John will be, if it's in, if it's in Atlanta next year, we'll that be That would be great. But this is, this is something that we've talked great. about, uh, me and Ped have talked about many a time of, and I've mentioned this to Tony, and the, the need for Everton to do these yeah. kind of weeks where they go to whether it's Orlando or whether it's Atlanta or whether it's Chicago or whatever, and they have a week of events where and they take the kids and, it, and the women they should definitely the take the women as well. Team. It's difficult yeah. at the minute, obviously with well, COVID, yeah. but as we move forward, especially women's football in the states is inc- it's, it's huge. massive. Ever since I've been going to America since '96 was the first time I went to Florida. I couldn't believe that all the advertising in the, the yeah. supermarket was all women for women. It's, it's almost soccer it's almost players. like a different. It's almost like a different sport yeah, in the way yeah. it took off, mm. you know. Um, but now what's funny is, I mean, I have a lot of friends who have been the U.S. women's team soccer fans, but yeah, it's, yeah. it's like that's all they watch. They don't really don't watch, watch the other women's yeah. teams, but that's beginning. But then they, Atlanta United comes along and they discovered men's soccer. Yeah. Like it's like they didn't even really know it was a that thing. That it was a thing. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, I mean yeah. they did. That sounds stupid, but, but not something they would go watch. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, wow, that was really fun and you know, and, and you've got the whole whole vibe and I love it because to me it's uh it's not like Everton. I don't sort of if we lose, I'm upset. Yeah, but but we move on. Yeah. You yeah. know, and but we have so much fun and we get stupid and, and it's this mix of the American traditions with the tailgating and the yeah, partying yeah. outside and the barbecuing and doing all it's that and, and, and lots of drinking yeah. and doing all that. Yeah. And then you go in and then it's got the sort of South American thing with the drums and the flags and, the, and that. But then there's the English chants as well. And it's just, just this mishmash of cultures, yeah. which is really good fun. Yeah. And I always go and forget my age. It's great. And I go stand in the supporter section and, and it's it's... You know, it's great. There is no sitting. You stand the full mm. ninety, mm. and and your husband waves the flags, and I mean, it's just great. Yeah, it's a, it is. Inc- I mean, I've 
yeah. some of the best atmospheres I've had as, as, as being at Orlando. I mean, I went where you're going was the, the Camp and Wales Stadium, or it was the six. Yeah, going to be interested. I don't, you know, yeah. uh, the the football stadium with Atlanta. American football mm. stadium has been great because it's always packed. Yeah, yeah. But when you go to those other stadiums and that you're too far away from the pitch yeah. and but um But that's it's okay that the Citrus Bowl's okay. I okay. I went and watched Orlando there and they had all that tailgate. But the first time I went the uh, ch the chairman's English was or the owner Phil Rawlins and took me down to the oh, wall right. and that gave me one of those flags to wave and it was about ninety degrees and he was going, have a go. And it was, I was As my husband I waved say, and everyone was bouncing. I was like, I don't even, I want to go back to my seat yeah. after the rest of this my, game. My husband was like, it's a workout. It is a workout. It is a workout. Yeah. So I'd done it for about a minute and went, oh, brilliant, that thanks. That's like <laughs> a sweat dripping that. But it is, it's So, a, so if it's we get a flag, you get like front row seating, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So you sign up for the, look, I sign up for the flag. As you do, and yeah. then my husband and my son wave, wave the flag and, and I get the front row yeah, seating. It's a good well, system. It, but they have the people who, face the crowd just to dance not even watching the game they're yeah, just bouncing yeah, but then yeah. again that happens in Germany the capo stand right yeah. that's what I mean right so yeah. you've got all these this mishmash of uh, of cultures so it's not Everton but mm. it's a lot of fun yeah and, and I it, get to the, watch live football the defeats are easier to get over now a lot easier, easier. Yeah. Uh, as I mean are you looking forward to seeing Everton then in the flesh oh in, I can't wait in America I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm just so damn excited it's ridiculous it's ridiculous it's uh it's going to be a blast. Mm. My son's going. He has never seen Everton play oh, in live. Fantastic. And uh, he's he's a, a massive blue without ever having seen his team. Fantastic. You know, I mean, he's there at the pub every Yeah, yeah, every but day, it's to but see them live the same. is an incredible um, thing. So he's, he's very, very excited. And uh, not your normal mother-son trip, maybe, but we're going to have a good time. That'll be a, it'll be a laugh, I'm yep, sure, because yep. there's a lot of, there's going to be a lot of blues there. It's, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I understand they're almost sold out, I think, the yeah. last I heard. Fantastic. And um, I think we're right next to the Arsenal section, so we've got some, uh, we've been working on some chants and, yeah, you know, Super good. League type things. Yeah, and, you know, no, yeah. Give them, uh, you've got to give them a little bit of stick. Give them a little bit of stick, yeah. Sign yeah. Of football, you've got to let Absolutely. them know. Absolutely. You've got to let them know. But, um, yeah, I mean... Nice intro for Rafa, though, I think. I was going to say, we, you mentioned Rafa Benitez right at the very start. So, because because you've been away from it a little bit. It's different. I was going to say, because I've, yeah. I've spoken to a few people, and, and uh, Ryan and James have done a, a video for us as well, right. the American Trophy, saying that their, their perspective is different because the emotional side of it to them isn't the same as, obviously, us in this yeah. city. Um, I've said many times he, he wouldn't have been my choice. He wouldn't have, wouldn't have been in my top five. But I'm over it. it. Is and what it and is. it's the, Liber the Liverpool thing. It, it was other stuff for me rather than the, the Liverpool thing is what right. it is. But what's it from so, your perspective? And people so you've from, spoken from, to. So from people I spoke to, let's kind of start there. Mm. Um, bit of a mix. Mm. Again, most of the Americans, exactly like you say, mm. they're, they're kind of like okay, interesting. Uh, most of them have the same kind of opinion that was mine. Was I, I'm I'm looking at his recent record was yeah, all I looked that was at, my problem. and I was like, China wasn't that great. And, mm. But then I'm thinking, well, caveat to China was though we could only have certain. Well, players. that's the other thing. And so, then he did get like the more different. I read or heard about it, he got like involved in the side of things he didn't need to. So yeah, it was like yeah. he was looking for ways to to increase so working with the kids and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So, and then I'm like, he clearly doesn't need the money. So why else would he do it unless mm. he wanted a challenge to take on? So I sort of started to turn myself a little bit more. I wouldn't go as far as positive, but it was <laughs> it was more on the plus and side. And yet you're positive. Yeah yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So, and then I'm like, well, you know what? What the heck? It's happened now. Mm. You know, great presser, said the right things, wasn't expecting anything else. But, you know, okay, I'm there. Um, so, you know, and then you've got your, uh, your Bolshe, your people who like, if you if you don't support our manager, you're not a real Evertonian. And then you've got people, if you support him, you're not, you're a, real not a real Evertonian. Real I'm like, yeah. well, then I'll clearly no one's a real Evertonian then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but we've got a few of the, the older guys who are, I don't know, I haven't spoken to them lately because I've been here. Yeah, but very yeah. much on the Facebook group were like really angry about it. Mm. Really angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you've got others really angry at them for being for angry. Being angry. <laughs> and I'm like, can't we just all get along? Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, he's our manager. Move Let's on. See what happens. See what happens. And uh, I mean, hey, from what I understand, the fitness coach he's got is supposed to be one of the best. Mm -hmm. Well, we need that, don't we? I don't no, know that our yeah. players had that fitness, mm. right? So I'm like, if, if we're going to get, because I, I don't think we had a bad side. We were just short of a couple of players. Mm. 
And you I know that right. I mean, once they the right hand side. Once they so, figured out, it didn't mm. take long, right? No, we, no. We were rocking it, and then like six or seven games later, mm. teams are like. All right, all we had to do was watch the video, and even Bridget noticed they were a little mm. weak on the side, you know. Yeah, and, and all of a sudden, right, so a uh, couple of players short, deep in the squad, some great youth coming up. Mm. See, I told you I was a positive. Yeah, yeah. positive and yeah. organised, bit of, bit of organisation, bit of accountability, yeah. which I think you need, um, and a bit more of a manager who wants to work a little bit harder than our previous one, who we, who we loved because he was, oh, it's Carlo, it's this book. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, I like worshipped the ground he walked on. I'm the first mm. to admit it. Mm. And, and when the rumours started coming out, I was like, ah, two weeks ago he said, not going. Mm. And then like 24 hours later, I'm like, what? Mm. Yeah, and then we, we all know. But, I mean, you know, you, you go on social media, and you see one thing, and then you talk to people, and you see something a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. And even, you know, even Rafa said they're right on his, on his interview, you know. It's, uh, you've just said it perfectly before. He's our manager. So yeah. no point stamping our feet and, 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 and crying and, about it. Let's and I thought it was hilarious that the people who wrote on the bed sheet put it on the wrong house. I mean, that says it all. Well, that, I mean, that says the, the irony of, of it was, it, the it? irony <laughs> of it was, they clearly didn't know where they lived. Did exactly. They? So yes. that, that, we know that where you biggest, live. Oops. Yeah. I'm glad I'm not the person who lives I in the house. I was going to say, yeah. Imagine <laughs> Jimmy opening his curtains. Who knows where to live, you know, because it was, uh, quite clearly wasn't meant for anyone else. So We move yeah. on. Unless it was his wife who said, I know where you live. Well, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We lived there well, we'll, you know, we'll see what the reaction is in Orlando. Because mm. did you know they're coming to Florida? Are they? I yeah. Know. I yeah. hadn't heard that. Um, yeah. But I think, I think it might be a, a, a gentler entree for him, P potentially. Yeah, well, listen, we win both games, 3 or 4 nil, and, and he lifts the Florida Cup. Then well, all that will have to happen is that. the Arsenal fans to have come up with someone and sing something to us about him being a Liverpool person, and we'll want to shout the shout them down, and all of a sudden we'll love him. You that, know, yeah, you know well, how it works. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, the bed sheet turned a lot of people towards him, ironically. So, yeah. well played. Maybe it was, uh, maybe it was his assistant manager. Might have been his assistant manager saying, I, I know where you live, Rafa. He's made up, just don't forget me, who knows. He's but fine. no, I think it's going to be fun. For all those blues over there, I think yeah. it's going to be absolutely brilliant. I think it's great by the club, to be honest, to get over there. It's way overdue, but like you said, you've got to start somewhere. Yeah, you? and they've, you know, we, we're all aware that they have they have to bubble. We're going to have very limited contact with mm. the team. I mean, in my case, I won't have any because I think it'll be between the second, first game and the second game, and I'll be gone mm. by then because of that whole work thing. I know. Not great. Not great. But you knock it out of it. There's no way you can change that. No. No. Okay. No. But I'll be on the red eye, six o'clock Monday morning. Yeah. Work eight thirty a.m. So you were telling me the, the game kicks off at eight thirty a.m. in Orlando. And twelve hours later, and I'm twelve hours a later, training. you need to be back in Atlanta, actually giving training out. Yeah. Not even sitting at the back in a training. Actually. Giving it. Yeah. So you're gonna have to. I did tell my boss. They know. Okay. It's actually funny though. I've got a new, because I'm a teacher, so mm -hmm. new headmaster. I guess we call them principals. Yeah, yeah. He's new, so he didn't really have a clue. But the rest of the administrative team, I said, just by the way. This um, is happening. This is happening. And I'm technically still on, on holiday as a teacher. But yeah. it's, it's just what I, part of my job, but I technically don't have to do it. Mm -hmm. So, but I let them, but I kind of do. But I, so yeah. I let them know and they all looked at me and they went, all right, we'll be there to cover if you need us, because, you know. The best thing to do, drink lots of water. Yes. Because I'm sure... Good advice. Pre-match. My son told me... The water might the be the same. The minute the kickoff starts, that's he's going to be throwing water down it? me. Once that's it, it, it starts, yeah. that's it. My son's 26, and he is responsible for the hydration of his mother. I mean, it's not a bad thing to be responsible no. for. It's, it's not a great thing either, but, it's you know, fit. but he's... You're in Orlando, it'll be hot. I'm mean, used to the hot weather in Georgia, obviously. But yeah, you're in, I know. It is know. delightful being here it's gone and be... people being like, God, it's so hot. And I'm like... You're like, yeah. Oh, my yeah. air conditioning's actually colder than this. Yeah. yeah. Or, you know, that's what my yeah. air conditioning set at. I always right. find that mad in Florida is that the air conditioning set at like 74. Yes. And when it's 74 here, we're like, can't wear. I mean, you've got shorts on. You I know. know. So, but it's all right. Now I think, listen, I'm, I am... Well, jealous. I don't know whether I've mentioned that. Uh, as, I, as I think Mr. Blaine is and, and Mr. McPartland, who's uh, been unwell this week, otherwise he'd have been here. But it's, I hope you have a fantastic time. I'm sure you will. I'm sure I you can't uh, wait. No, I'm sure. I can can't see wait. it on your face. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> so get to see Hammers in the uh, flesh. Yeah. Get to see Rafa's opening game. And hopefully Everton will uh, ensure Not it's let us down. a win. Good win. Be nice to. Uh, 
to be bring nice on. way to start. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. And drink that water. I, I promise. I will. Bridget, thank you very much you, for coming in having a chat. If you want to be part of uh, the Overseas Blues, telling your story, let us know, get in touch. But huge thanks to Bridget and uh, we'll see you later.